In this section, we're going to be talking some more about curves, and specifically, I'm going to introduce you to the helix curve. Now, the helix is found in our control curves submenu. The helix button is right here. As you can see, I can choose either helix or vertical helix. I'd like to enlarge my top viewport a little bit so we have some more room. So I'll just left click here, and as you can see at the top, I can again pick vertical or a round curve. So our basic helix, I'm just going to demonstrate now. I need to pick a start point for my axis. The end point, now this is basically the height or length of my helix. So I click here and at this point I'm controlling the diameter. And again up here I'm given some more choices. As you can see I can choose either diameter, mode equals turns, the number of turns, pitch, and whether I'd like to reverse the twist. So as you can see the helix here, when I left click, here's my finished helix. Curve that looks basically like a spring. So let's delete that. And again, I'll create a helix. And this time, let's look at some of these choices. Well, if I go up here and click Mode, the mode changes to pitch. Then I can click pitch and let's type in 9, press enter. And here you can see it's more of a steeply sided or steeply curved spring type shape. Now when I use my helix tool again, mode is still pitch. I can change mode back to turns. And now my turns is set at 2.4. Let's change that to 10. And we're back to the default setting. If I want to ch click diameter, that's going to actually allow me to control the helix by diameter. Now I'm going to delete this helix. Now vertical helix, just real quickly, if I use my top viewport, I'm actually not getting anything done because the, the helix is vertical straight up and down. So in my front viewport I can create it and then we see it top down in the top viewport. I'll give you a super quick preview of the three-dimensional helix. I'm just going to go into my solids panel, pipe, and create a pretty small pipe. So there we see, again, it looks like a coiled spring when we've given shape to our curve. So let's delete that. Now the most interesting thing about the helix, in my opinion, is the around curve. Now for a lot of solid, a lot of shapes and a lot of curves, they have choices that are similar to a round curve where what you're doing is you're creating a curve shape. then choosing one point on this curve, for example, as a starting point for your second shape. The helix around curve tool is actually different than that. It actually really means around the curve. As you can see here, it's actually created a helix that is following my original curve. Now this can create some really interesting and bizarre shapes. If I were to show you a circle, just quickly here, helix around curve. Now you see we have almost a star type shape going on. The other interesting thing to note here is that this is a closed helix. In other words, my entire helix curve is a closed curve. And that's because my starting curve here that I used as a base is a closed curve. Let's just use our pipe command real quickly. And take a look at what we've got pretty cool as you can see. It's a very unique shape. It can be created extremely quickly with my helix around curve tool. Now the helix can be used around any curve so I could even use my second helix as a curve. Now that creates quite a mess but let's take a look at what we've got again with our pipe command just to see. A pretty chaotic knot of wires 
you might say. So again, that's just to show you briefly that the Helix tool is actually a pretty innovative tool with a whole lot of options. From your basic spring Helix, you can then go way out and get crazy by choosing a round curve. And here's an example of a helix that was created around the curve of an open curve shape, which means my second helix is going to be open. Well, let's take a look at that. That's a pretty artistic shape that we can make in just a few seconds using the Helix tool.